Hello and welcome back to the tutorial. In this video, I want to introduce the spread command. The spread command converts a data frame from a long to a wide format. And I'm going to tell you in a second what that means. First, I'm going to load the tidyverse library and the data set from our GitHub page. You can find the link in the uh, data visualization section of the website uh, and just run this command to also get the data frame into your R session if you want to play along. Let's have a look at it. Uh, in this data frame, we have the sales, the advertising spending, and the store number. So we have two stores, one and two. Uh, first of all, I want to convert the store numbers from numbers to a factor and give them the labels st store one and store two. Second, I'm also adding a date variable, which will then uh, act as the date of sales and uh, date of advertising spending um, in our data frame. I'm just adding a date from today, 100 days back. So for both store one and store two, the data frame will start at today and go 100 days back. And in this particular example, I am only interested in the sales data. So I am selecting just the store sales and date columns in the data frame and arrange it by date. If we have a look at this, we can now see that we have store two uh, sales and the date, store one, sales and the same date. And so for each uh, day, we have kind of two observations, which is very nice if we want to do further calculations. And we're going to go into that a bit more uh, in, in the next videos. But sometimes if we just want to get an overview or export a table of our data, uh, for, for example, including it in our homework or some kind of paper we're writing, it is often nice to have a column of sales for each of the stores, for each of the groups that we have. Uh, of course, this could be any kind of uh, grouping in our data set. And the way we can do this is the spread command. The spread command takes the variable in which our groups are identified as the first argument if we pipe our data set into it and then takes the variable which should be the value of each group and in this case date um, in the result and then I'm just piping this into head to uh, see the first couple of lines of the result. So you can see now we have for each date one row and then we have the sales in store one and the sales in store two. If we have you know, five or six groups, that is a very nice way of visualizing the data and kind of compare them on a daily basis. Or of course, this could also be some kind of other value. Thank you very much for watching and see you soon.